جيد uh, so what we will do is we will start with التدريب الرابع the fourth exercise uh, it says اقرأ جهرا we have had a uh, word جهر before which means uh, loudly meaning uh, you make it apparent you make it heard it says السنة الميلادي السنة الميلادية it means not the Hijri calendar this is the English calendar, like Gregorian calendar, you know, the, the one that we use January, February, March, April. So it's talking about uh, this calendar. It says, uh, It says, 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 uh, mufrad, singular. Okay, the shahr is a singular. It's saying 12 months. Okay, but we're using singular and you should know these rules. We have done them a lot and it has to be mansub. Okay, and with this number, uh, it's called adad murakkab. This is, <laughs> there's a lot of rules, guys. I don't want to go through the Arabic, uh, the number rules because you have a uh, different rules for 11 and 12. 11 and 12 has a uh, different rules. 11 and 12 works like a sifa. So all of them, both of this number has to match uh, with the uh, ma'adud, thing that you're, you know, describing in terms of gender. So ithna is a masculine, ashara is a masculine, and shahar is masculine. So all of them has to, uh, has to match. Uh, but if it was like uh, sana, for example, year, then it's ithnata asharata sana. So make sure you know your rules. There are a lot of, lot of rules, guys. Now, uh, and then it says, uh, then it gives you all the 12 uh, names of the uh, month in English calendar. So you have uh, Yanair. Yanair is the January. Okay, February is the February. So a lot of these names, uh, they made Arabized, so to speak. From the English, they made it into Arabic. Okay, like Mars is Maris. Okay, April, because they cannot say P, April, they say April. Okay, and then Mayu, uh, this should be Unia. Uh, there's a Harka mistake. Unia is the for the June. Yulia is for July. Augustos, you know, September. You know, go through them. No, no point me spending time here. Uh, so it says, Fisanati uh, in the year Arbaatu Chuhu. In the year, there are four months. في كل منها ثلاثون يوما. Okay, so basically saying in a year there are four months. Every one of them is ثلاثون uh, يوما, thirty days. So in a year there are four months which has thirty days. That's basically what he's trying to say. وفيها سبعة شهور and there are seven uh, months في كل من منها and uh, منها واحد وثلاثون يوما. And so that we have seven months uh, in each one of them, we have 31st, 31 days. Uh, these are called Adat Al Ma'atuf. Every one of them has a name. It's Adat Murakab, Adat Al Ma'atuf. Then you have uh, Al Fad Al Wukud. Al Fad Al Wukud is the Shroon, Thalathun, Khamsun, you know, all of them. So when it comes to this kind of number, I just explained to you, it's very simple. Uh, you have wahidun is a separate word. Thalathun is a separate word. Thalathun, this is always the same for the for, for the masculine and the feminine. Uh, like arba'un, khamsun, uh, it will always be same. Then it says waqad yakun tis'atan wa ishrina yawman. And sometimes waqad uh, yakun, uh, remember we talked about qad. When qad comes in qad, uh, Remember, qad is very specialties of verbs. One of the sign of verb. How do you recognize something is verb or not? If it preceded by qad. So qad can never come in nouns. So once you see qad, the next word has to be a verb. So that means you know that qad only comes in the verb. But qad can come in both past tense and the present tense. I think I've spoken about that. When it comes to the past tense, it makes it emphasize. Like qad zahaba. Something like that, okay? But when it comes to present tense, it has a, almost like an opposite meaning. Uh, like it could be possibility. So when you say, قَدْ يَكُونَ 
uh, so it might be okay so there might be this atan so there might be uh, 29 days now when you say the qad coming emphasis and the mudare this is a very classical uh, way of looking because if i answer your question i have to only say that in the quranic perspective because when the quran allah will use the qad with the present tense verb but when allah says it might happen do you do you have any doubt it's going to happen hmm? If Allah said he might give you a Jannah. No, we don't have any doubt. That's as good as emphasize. So this is a style. Allah could have said, I will enter into Jannah. And sometimes Allah says that. Allah also says that I will. He will emphasize that he will. So this is a style. So that's why sometimes you'll see some uh, teachers will say the Qad also comes into present tense verb as emphasis. That, is, that would only be true depends on the speaker and the style. You understand? But by and large, when a qad comes, uh, if you want to translate in English, it would be, I might. Qad adhabu qadan, I might go tomorrow. And the Quran is a little bit different because this, the uh, speaker is uh, Allah Azzawajal himself. Uh, then we have at Tadrib al Khamis, the fifth exercise. It says, Akmil kama fil mithal. Complete as in, as in the example. Hal dhakar tumudarsa. Then it says naam dhakar na. And here it says hal hadhi nati jatukum. It says naam hadhi nati jatuna. So what are they showing? First of all, look at these two sentences. Uh, this is what type of sentence? <laughs> Remember, we have two types of sentences: a verbal sentence or a normative sentence. So number one is what? The verbal sentence because it starts with the verb. Dhaqara. We had this verb before. And number two is the nominative sentence because there aren't any verb. So what they're showing you is that hal, this harful istifham, it comes into both of these type of sentences. Okay. Hal dhaqar tumuddarsa. Have you uh, studied the lesson? You can say naam dhaqarna. We have done so. And he says... Uh, Hal is this your results? They say Naam Yes, these are our results. I'll probably do one or two. It says Hal Najahtum Filimtihan. So did you pass uh, in the exam? What is another word for imtihan? Do you know? Yeah. Uh, and then he says, Hal Hada Zamilukum is this your friend when i say your you know remember it's kum so you're in a plural sense in english we don't have uh, we have to use the same word hal tawadda'tum tawadda'tum have you lis salati did you guys do uh, did you perform evolution wudu for the salah hal hadhihi this is also a mistake suwa it should be suwarukum uh, what is suwar suwar is a plural of surah Okay, surah. Surah is the pictures. Surah is a picture. And remember the surah. This word has a lot of different meanings. It can come as a form also, a style or method. There's you know based on context, it can have different meanings as well. So the question is, are these your pictures? And you should understand why we're using hadhi, because this is a plural of objects we treat them as uh, singular feminine uh, and then we have is this your so it should be very simple i don't see any complications only thing i'm guessing that they are trying to explain that you can use hal in uh, both of these type of sentences now uh, the sixth exercise we have jadwaludurus uh, jadwal, uh, jadwal, you know already, jadwal is a chart. Durus is the plural of dars, which is a chart of the lessons. We had similar things a few times before. So let's see what they want. Uh, mustawa, what is mustawa? Mustawa is level. Mutawasset, uh, like intermediate or middle. Al-amal jami' is that study year, academic year. And tarikh is date. Tarikh can be date. 
it can also be history. The, this word has a two different meanings. It could be history. It can also be the date, like today's date. Uh, uh, it means to agree on something. But when it's a muafak, it means agree. But what they mean is agree to uh, this date. So this is hijri and agreed in terms of like which is equivalent to uh, this in English calendar. We have a dars al yom. So these types are the lessons. Uh, these are the days. And we've done through them. I don't want to spend so much time. So we have the word istiraha. Istiraha is a rest or break. Okay. Uh, rest or a break. We have another break for walk the salah uh, for the time of the prayer. Uh, no. Then it says Raisul Raisu Kismil Lugatil Arabiya. Rais is from the Ra'as. Ra'as is head. Rais is the head. You can say head or principal, doesn't matter. In in English, we can also use the head. Head of the department of Arabic language. Okay. And you have Amid. Amid is Dean. Mahadil Logat al the Dean of Institution of Arabic Language. Okay. The Qism is Department. Mahad is Institution. You know these things already. Uh, we have As'ilatun Hawla Jadwalid Durus. Hawla is around. Hawla, I don't know if you have this one. Hawla is around. Uh, As'ila, of course, the plural of Su'al. So now we have questions around this table let's see what's going on here so read the you know study chart uh, then uh, answer the following questions what is the number of lessons uh, in the week so here's dar so we have one two three four five so you can say khamsa uh, uh, the rules. Uh, remember the rules. This is a good, it would be very good for you to practice your rules. So you can say, Kham Satu, Kham Satu, Duru Sin. Okay, this is a number in Arabic for five. So if somebody writes this one, <laughs> based on what language you're looking at it, it could be 10, it could be 15. Now, how uh, many subjects, the students, you know, let me ask you a few questions. I'm going to spend a little bit of time here because there's something interesting here. So, just look at this part. If you look at this part, we have Jumlatun Fi'liya, right? We have a verbal sentence. So which one is the subject? The subject is very simple. We look for what? We look for Dhamma. So we have at tulabu So this is the Dhamma. So we know this is the Fa'al. So this is the Fa'al. So the students, Yadrusu. Student studies. And so first question is, students is the plural. Why aren't we saying Yadrusuna? The plural of Yadrusu is what? Yadrusuna. So why don't we say Yadrusuna Tullab? Yes. So Ahsant. Fa'il should be singular when we use Jumlatul Fa'iliya. But if we were to make the Tullab first, then it's, it's going to become Jumlatul Ismiya. Then we have to say At-Tullabu Yadrusunaha. Uh, something you have to know, guys. Uh, it's uh, kind of important. If you say At-Tullab first, then you have to say Yadrusuna. But when we start with a verb, we have to uh, make it singular. But remember what I also mentioned. Now, if you continue with the same subject, same file, meaning you're saying Yadrusu ha atulabu, so you made it singular, then you want to say something else that they also read. Wa yakrauna. Now you cannot make it singular anymore. It's in the middle of the sentence, it's following. So this rule you have to know now. So now the question is, Darasa Yadrusu, it is a fa'il muta'addi. It is a transitive verb. Where is its maful bihi? Hmm? 
Remember, transitive verbs need the maful bihi. Referring back to, yes, the maful bihi itself, you don't have to say referring back. You can just say, because I'm trying to erase everything. Just look at the, this part. So the maful bihi is right here. Ha. Okay, ya drusu ha. So maful bihi is this one. And you know, the mansu pronouns it is muttasil, it's connected, so it cannot stand by itself. So you need to connect with the verb. Uh, I know you guys you don't know, but I'll explain to you something which is a little bit more advanced. So what is the relationship between this one? So what is this sentence with relationship with the rest? It almost sounds like, if you think about it, it almost sounds like Ismul Mansul that we had. Remember when we were Allati, Allati, you start a new sentence and then it always had some kind of pronoun that refers back to something that we're talking about. Right, doesn't it? So it's a calm mother and then it explains. Uh, but where is this small mouse? Is it the same situation here? So what happens is, is something that uh, is a little bit advanced. This word madda, this entire sentence is describing this one word. So this is a sifa. This entire sentence is an adjective. It's a sifa of explaining this word madda. When you have adjective that is a sentence, it will only work with indefinite noun. If it was a definite, we would not call it adjective. At that time, you would need ismul mausul. So now, yadrusuha atullabu fil This whole thing is describing madda. When you have a sentence being an adjective, there also has to be some kind of link that connects to things that you are adjective. And the link here is ha. So we will study them in Ajurumi, inshallah. The number three says, li ayye mustawan hadal jadwal. By the way, last time I mentioned to you something that I want to correct a little bit. Uh, I always told you that uh, this is not ya, this is alif maksura. It's alif, actually. And I told you I did not like when people put tanween on the top of alif. Because I mentioned to you that alif cannot take in haraka, right? Which is true. But it apparently it seems like in the printing or in the writing style, both of them are allowed. Okay, so for example, you say, you say uh, fata, should be fatan, right? But in the printing, both of them would be allowed. You can, you can uh, also do it here. The, from the writing style perspective, they allow that. So if you see it, it's not necessarily a mistake. Looks like there, uh, there's a difference in opinion, uh, but both of them are allowed. So you can put a tanwin here, which, which in my mind makes more sense. Uh, but you can also put tanwin on the alif as well. So fi ayy mustawan hadha jadwal? In which level is this jadwal? I think they mention uh, al mutawassit. Kam adadu durus li kulli madatin fi How many? Uh, what is the number of lessons in each? Subject in Uzbu, you kind of have to go back, guys. This is, should be a very fun, ex uh, fun exercise. Go back uh, and then also practice your numbers writing. Try writing in letters, symbol, number symbol, and also try writing in words. Now we have Imla Hadal Jad uh, Hadal Jadwal. Uh, fill this Jadwal, which I'm not going to do. So basically, go back to this thing and for each subject you write the subject name and then write uh how many times other durus fellows how many times the lesson is in the in the week for example if you say quran okay so how many times we have uh, one uh two uh three okay so you write three times so you'll write Quran and you'll write uh, how many times and make sure you follow the rules. This would be a very good time to follow the rules of the numbers, especially the genders. So all of these things are based on this jadwal. I don't know what uh, I'll just read the question and translate. And if there is something interesting, I'll explain. But I don't think we'll uh, answer them from the jadwal. It says, Mata yabda'ul Amalu bihadal jadwal. Here it sings, Uktub al ijabata bi bil huruf. When they say huruf, it means don't write the don't write out the numbers like that. 
You understand from by the symbols. So you have to go and see when does it start. So okay, so we have we have this uh, time on the top. It's so small you cannot even see. And here's another interesting thing. Is something probably you should know. Here, this comma is same thing that we would say. This this is like eight fifty. You see, this semicolon is the comma here. Okay, so what they're writing here is eight two eight fifty. So this comma gets a uh, uh, is a little bit problem. S same thing with same thing. What happens with with uh, like for example, if we say nine point five percent. So this uh, this point they will put a a comma. So it gets a little bit uh, confusing for me also sometimes. You understand? Now. What is the name of the department which prepared Adda? Remember, Adda is to prepare Al Jadwal. I think it was Qism uh, Logatil Arabia. It's not mean, it should be Man. Uh, this guy is, confuses me all the time. Man Hua Raisu Hadal Qism, who is the head of this department. The name was there. You can go back. Uh, let me just quickly skim through, see. We have anything or not? Come, Yaman, Yadrusutu Labu, Firuzbu. We had the exact same sentence before. Mata Yadrusutu Labu, Madatal Estema. You know this thing. When the student study the subject of listening, you can go back. Fi Aye Darsin, in which lesson Firuzbu Yatalamu to Labu Al Khat Al Arabi. Khat has two meanings. Khat can be a line. Or it can be handwriting. Uh, you can say khattu ka jameel. Your handwriting is very good. So ماذا يتعلم الطلاب في في الدرس الأول يمث ثلاثة. You know, you have to go back what they study in uh, in the first lesson. And by the way, you have to know these dates. Uh, this is uh, also important. I think this book already gave you يوم الأحد يوم الاثنين يوم الثلاثة يوم الأربعاء يوم الخميس you have to know all of them. What uh, lie, you know, what lie is holiday. Uh, I don't see any other interesting things here. Let's move on. We have uh, the seventh exercise. So here, uh, remember, we just talked about khat. Khat here means not the handwriting or, or the calligraphy. Here, khat means what? Line. Put a line under a similar uh, word. They should have said muradif. Muradif. Two words has the same meanings. So, for example, we have sana is here. So, from here, which one has the same meaning? Fasl, shahar, or am? Hmm? I'll just put the number for the columns. You can just tell me the number. So, for all of this answer, we, we, the first, you can say one, two, or three. Three, Ahsan. So, uh, so this is Am. So, Sana and Am is the same meaning. Then we have Jahazat. And which one has the same meaning from here? Huh? Akalat, Aaddat, or Akhrajat. Second, yes. We just had it. Aaddat. Aaddat. Ahsanti. Okay, so Jahaza, Aadda is the same meaning. So, Ma'ada. What, what does it mean? So ma ada is illa except. So for example, you say karatu hadhi hadhi al kutub. I read this book. Ma ada hadh al kitab except for this book. So you can so you can easily replace ma ada with the illa illa hadh al kitab. Bayanat. What is bayanat from here? Yes, one. Bayanat is information. Ma'lumat is also information. Imtihan, I just asked that question a while ago. Imtihan, which one is it? Yes, ikhtibar. Murtafi'a. Murtafi'a, which one? We had this word also. Murtafi'a goes with what? Aliya. Shamal. Which one is shamal? Shamal is left. Are you sure? Shimal is left. The hadith, it says, لا تأكلوا بالشمال. Do not eat with the left. فَإِنَّ الشَّيْطَانَ يَأْكُلُ بِالشِّمَالِ The shaitan eats with the left. You have shimal here. So shimal here. Yameen. And 
you can yasar and uh, shamal uh, shimal is the same thing okay yasar is the same thing as the left so i think the falco would make more sense anyway it's kind of no uh then it says qama this should be very easy two yes uh waqafa uh waqafa is to stand uh mimma yalik what is mimma yalik okay mimma what is mimma first of all so there are two words here min and then we have ma yes phantom but there's a problem because this one mimma min plus ma you can also write like this one you can also write like this you can write this way and you can write with this one so is there any difference do you know this rule is important you guys should know this rule so when do we write mimma and when do we write mimma? It all goes back to this ma. I, I, I warned you guys so many times. This ma is going to give you guys a lot of hard time. Because ma has a lots of lots of meanings. If by ma you mean question ma. Like what is your name? Masmuk. From, for example, you were asking somebody from what? Like you got it from what? Then you have to use mimma like this. Because this is a question. And it's not only for me, it could be Amma, Anma. So at that point, you'll be Amma. So if you don't have Alif, then you are referring to question ma. So there is a question. But if you have Alif, then this is not your question. This is what is Mul Mausul. Alladhi, Allati. Okay, so now here when you say mimma, from which? It's not a question, it is ismul mausul. Remember the ma that we studied, ma and man. It's the same ma. So what does it mean? It means uh, to follow and also something that is uh, front, uh, that comes front of you. I mean, uh, amamik. Yes, number three. What is wara behind? Yes, so please uh, make sure you know they're opposite, okay? Now, ja'a. What is ja'a? Which one? Yes, two. Hadara. Good. Inshallah, from next uh, time, we will start from uh, At-Tadrib, At-Thamin, with the eighth lesson.